notice it. Two, we're not, you're not going to notice two out of a billion or three out of a billion or five out of a billion or even a million out of a billion. But once a critical mass is reached, boom, oh my God, I got the pain. Now I got to go to the doctor. Oh, we got to take that thing out. So the airbag around the cell, the microinflammation is always going to be present. Capital A, always. Capital A L W A Y S. Capital everything. It's always going to be present as the cause of the de of all degenerative disease, whatever it is. Doctors are going to tell you there's lots of causes. I was listening to a doctor today on a, a podcast. Oh, there are so many different causes of infertility. No, there's not. There's a stressed out reproductive cell, a stressed out endometrial cell, a ovarian cell. Not a lot of causes. Or sometimes they'll tell you there's no known causes. I love that one. They call that idiopathic, as an idiot. Idiopathic means there's no known cause. By the way, idiot is not necessarily an insult term. Do you know, do you know idiots were on the IQ test back in the day, back in the early 1900s when the IQ test was first starting to become in vogue? If you had an IQ between zero to 30, you were called an idiot, or that was a classification, an idiot. If it was between, I think, 30 and 50, you were an imbecile, and believe it or not, if you were 50 to 70, you were a moron. That's literally, that's, that was until the 1970s, until those terms became uh, condescending. And, uh, but really, seriously, so I'm not being insulting. I'm just talking about their IQs. I'm just talking about the IQ of the model. So sometimes they'll tell you there's no causes. Sometimes they'll tell you there's lots of causes. Sometimes they'll tell you we don't know the causes. All of these are notions that disempower the individual. And you know what? That's the bottom line here. If there's anything that makes this country great, if there's anything that makes us great, is our power as individuals. And that's what the United States really was founded on, on the individual versus the government. Founded that way. It didn't take very long for it to change, or at least in theory. I don't know what they were thinking. But in theory, the United States of America, and, and this is why it's no accident that, that the founding fathers ripped on the medical model. Dr. Benjamin Rush, who was one of the signatories of, of the Declaration of Independence, he ripped on the medical model. Thomas Jefferson ripped on the medical model. This is 300 years ago. Doctors were, doctors were looked at with, and the model, not just doctors, but the model was looked at with great trepidation. They said, be careful here, because they knew that medicine would disempower the individual if it was, al if it was uh, allowed to. If we let it, the medical model was just as bad as the king. It would disempower the individual, but even more fundamentally at a part, a place in our lives that's really important to us, our health. To disempower us in a buying decision for a computer, that's one thing, and that happens all the time. We get ripped off in, in the marketplace all the time. We get disempowered in the marketplace all the time. You know, ever, ever try to figure out how to work your computer or your car or your television set? We, we got to go somewhere else. And that's, you know, we deal with that. But when it's our bodies, when it's our health, when it's our babies, our children, our moms and our dads, that's evil. That's twisted. We should be glorifying and, and, and elevating the individual. A good job of a good healthcare professional is to make himself irrelevant. My job as a pharmacist, as a nutritional pharmacist, is to make myself irrelevant so you don't need me. A true health care professional will empower you so you don't need him. So it's a part-time job. What if doctors only got paid if they actually did something? What if a doctor only got paid if you got better? Hmm. There won't be a lot of doctors, probably. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. If you're on hold, hang tight. 866-735-2470 is a phone number for the Brightside Ben team. Phone team. If you want to join the team, help me in my mission to educate the world about how powerful and important a good nutritional supplement program is and really how powerful and important we are as individuals. If you want to, this is what this mission is about. It's about us as individuals against an institution. Institutions are always in opposition to individuals, period. Individuals as human beings are always the victims of institutions, whether you call it the medical institution or whether you call it the government institution or the legal institution, whatever the institution is, it's always going to be set against us. Instit, stit, institution means static. It's something that's fixed, that's locked in, that ain't going nowhere. 
and is not going to do anything to jeopardize its, its existence, and it will always be in, in opposition to the individual. It's a, like, a, like 180 degree opposite. It's a polar opposite, individual and institution. And what this message that we talk about every day on the bright side is it's about elevating, empowering the individual and disempowering simultaneously the institution. If you watch that debate yesterday, you'll see the institution in action. Do you think that any of those boneheads that are on the stage are any different from anybody else? They're all the same. You think your life's going to be better if it's John Kasich or Donald Trump? Is our life going to be any better at the end of the day? Is our life any different when uh, George Bush is president or Obama's president? It's still, we're all still disempowered. Uh, the, uh, my taxes haven't gone down. The Affordable Health Care Act, my, my insurance premiums go up every, have gone up every year since the Affordable, Affordable Health Care. Oh, my God. It would, be, it, it would be funny if it wasn't so tragic. Here's something else. Check this out. This one is another good one. This is from the journal Addiction Biology. Drug curbs marijuana use, but with tough side effects. I'm not kidding you. This is craziness. They want to give you a drug now. If you're addicted to marijuana, supposedly, and by the way, Chris Christie, you hear him yesterday? He wants to make, he wants to put people in jail again for smoking pot, for smoking a leaf out of, out of the ground. Now, if you're addicted to marijuana, and, and you can, you know, it's debatable whether it's even addicting or not, but in any case, if you're addicted to marijuana, now you can take a drug called uh, a Topamax, Topramate, Topramate. Nasty, nasty drug, Topamax. It's an anticonvulsant drug. Of course it's going to have side effects, but you won't be hooked on pot. <laughs> you won't be smoking pot. You won't be high. You may have to have your liver checked every six months, but you won't be high. Thank you, doctors. This is the craziness. This is the nonsense, the idiocy of this model that we deify, we glorify, the medical model. All right, let's go to Rick in Oklahoma. What's up? Good morning, Rick. Welcome to the Bright Side. Well, hi, Ben. Thanks What's for good? taking my call. What's um, cooking? What's going on? Well, the affordable care isn't very affordable. I get that. <laughs> I'm telling you. And every year, has yours gone up every year? Um, yes. Every year it goes up. And I don't even use mine. I don't know. What the heck? Why does it go up? <laughs> I haven't I'm touched it. I haven't used it. I do get right. to usually check that. And it's simple. But um, my question is about, I saw your, a little bit of your article about the thrill of krill oil. And um, I've been taking um, a salmon oil. And I've been having, noticing more soreness in my hands. I use my hands for work. I run a... Um, more soreness after you took the, the salmon oil? No, no, no. No, I just started having soreness in, okay. my, in the last okay. six months. Okay. And so I was wondering if, I, if the krill oil would be more... No, it's about the same. Krill's a little bit... Krill's kind of interesting. I shouldn't say that. Krill's interesting because it has these... It has a couple of things that no other oils have. Number one, it has carotenes and a lot of them because the krill produce this sun protective element that we can use. Carotenes are sun protective and they're also nutritional. And you're not going to get those in fish oil, in ordinary fish oil. And it also has something in it called phospholipids. And phospholipids help the penetration. For one thing, they help the penetration of the fat and they have their own health benefits too, phospholipids. So krill oil is superior. But here's the problem with krill oil. And I actually bought a bunch of stock in a krill oil company, which is going down the tubes, by the way. Um, krill, the, the, here's the, the problem with krill oil. It's expensive, and you don't get a lot of bang for your buck. So I'm not a big believer in just using krill oil, but I am a believer in adding krill oil to your, essential, to your ultimate essential fatty acid, your ultimate EFA. If you add the krill oil to it, and don't count on the tr krill oil to provide you with everything you need, you'll get all the benefits. You'll get well-rounded benefits, I should say. And here's another thing. When we talk about omega-3 fatty acids and essential fatty acids, and we, we were talking about it earlier, we'll probably talk about it here in the next few weeks, it's kind of confusing, the omega-3s, because there's really two types of omega-3, two types of essential omega-3. One is called ALA, and the others are called DHA and EPA. And the DHA and EPA, they're only found in fish. We can make them, I shouldn't say only, but predominantly found in fish. 
we can make it from ALA, but not 100% efficiently. So you need all of it, is what I'm saying. The ALA will come from flax and from seeds, and the DHA and EPA, they'll come from fish. So you want to kind of mix things up a little bit. You want fish, you want krill, you want flax. Just cover, in my opinion, cover all your bases. So krill can be helpful, but I wouldn't count on it for everything. Salmon oil can be helpful. Fish oil can be helpful. I like cod, by the way. And you won't always want your fish to be from a dark, from a, a, a clean part of the ocean, usually the North Sea. But in any case, you, you want fish oil, you want krill oil, and you want ALA, which you're going to get from flaxseed oil or chia oil or hemp seed oil. You kind of want a well-rounded supplement. Does that answer your question? Um, yeah. So you, since you brought up the um, flax, how, how much flax or... There's, you I'm know, th mentioned. there's a really no friggin' way to know on that. Okay. Just take uh, a lot. Take you know, a you're lot. not going to OD on it. Right. Uh, it, but I take a lot. I, you know what I do? I, I dump it in my smoothie and I swallow a bunch of pills. And I don't even worry about it because you're not going to OD on it. You're not going to... And there's no way to know. There's just flat out no way to know. Okay, I'll work that. Okay, right. good. Thanks, Rick. Take Thanks. care, buddy. Okay. All right, let's go to Pat in Indiana. What's up? Welcome to the Bright Side, Pat. Hi. Um, I'm calling about my husband. He's been cutting wood for a long time and chopping it. But <clears throat> this time, about over a week ago, the hammer got real high and it came down real hard. But he didn't notice the pain, but about two hours later, was he, drinking? he really couldn't no, stand I'm... up because the pain was so great. But when he lays down, it goes away. With the hammer? He hit himself with the hammer? No, he hit the wood, but he hit it so hard it must have did something to All right. How old's your husband? shoulder blade. How old's your husband? He's 80. Okay. So here's what you just got, you're going to need to do. You gotta start, he's going to have to become Arnold Schwarzenegger. Remember him? Arnold yes, Schwarzenegger before he was governor? He was a bodybuilder yeah. before he was governor. You got to build up. You got to go anabolic. Now, I'm kind of exaggerating. He's not going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger, but that's the idea. We got to build your, your husband back up. He's 80. He's hammering wood. That's all, a, or a ha uh, chopping wood. That's all a great sign. That's all an awesome sign. It means he's already strong. So he's not going to, he's going to notice results quickly. Right away, you want to start to work on his digestive system. If he has any digestive problems, those need to be eliminated. That's the food diary. Eliminate problem foods and then use the bioluminightly essence and enzymes after, after all meals. Start doing whey protein every day, especially after he chops wood or after he hammers or does anything physical. Give him a scoop of whey protein, a Slender FX or any One World Whey. Find a good quality whey protein, okay? And it wouldn't hurt to do it with a little bit of meal. He can also do it with meals. Also, uh, uh, egg, fish, protein foods is what I'm saying, all right? And there's a couple more things. Don't go away. I want to finish up when we come back, all right, Pat? All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll try to squeeze everybody in if we can. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a break and come back with you and good more health inf and more good health information on the bright side. Okay, we are back on the bright side talking to Pat. Uh, Pat, you there, ma'am? I am. Okay, so here's the deal. We gotta get your we gotta get your husband strong and like he was when he was a kid. We're gonna reverse the well, aging can process. Can I tell here. you that? Well, he's been doing this for a month now. Okay. So Go ahead. He doesn't hurt him to do that. It's not his arm and his shoulder. I'm just gonna give you. I'm just giving you general anti-aging well, yeah, strategies here. But I just want. He wants to know what you think it might be under his right. shoulder blade. He's falling apart. It, it's you're you're overthinking, sweetheart. He's falling apart. That's what I'm telling you. It's as simple as he's falling apart. I don't know how else, how much simpler I could be. Think of a, think of a 1972 Pinto. Yeah. Okay, now I don't mean to be harsh, because obviously he's vital for an 80-year-old guy. He's vital. And so we're going to turn it around. But I'm just telling you what's happening. Yeah. I'm just being real here, okay? He's a 1972 Pinto. So you don't want to need to know, like, what the details of the falling apart are. He's falling apart. So we're going to reverse that. Number one, start with food. Number two, uh, protein. Protein is your building nutrient, and along with it, fats. Fats and protein go together. And ironically, those are the two hardest nutrients for us to get, which is why we fall, one of the reasons we fall apart. And they're two of the hardest nutrients to absorb, too. So using them with his enzymes. More protein, more fat, less inflammatory food. And anybody listening, I'm, this is a general anti-aging, reverse the degenerative disease process strategy. Of course, there's many more things, and that's why you got to listen to this program, but this is a start. You want to re uh, correct any digestive issues. You want to build the body up with protein and with essential fats. 
Make sure he's doing his micronutrients, which would be his healthy start pack. Now, it might help him to do some of the ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach because those have anti-inflammatory properties. Vitamin E, which we've talked about a lot here the last couple of weeks, very anti-inflammatory. He might want 400 international units a day of vitamin E. Alpha lipoic acid, which I absolutely love. Again, alpha uh, anti-inflammatory, 400 milligram a day. And then uh, there's so many... Jeez, there's so many more things, but that's a good start for you, Pat. And like I say, this is a general anti-aging, uh, a, a degenerative degeneration reversal strategy. And basically, your husband is basically falling apart. I mean, and I, please, I'm not saying that in a mean way. No, uh, 